Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on VeChain whose current price stands at the 0.01805 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 5.99 percent and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the edu 12 structures, the Fibonacci, the key areas of support and resistances and also draw out any key chart patterns that you have information on this chart and now kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart VeChain from the all time high has been seeing no prices in this massive ABC corrective movement which has now taken us back to around the 0.018 dollar mark and starting my analysis here on the daily chart here on the daily chart you can see that after making our low initially at around the 0.02 dollar mark we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side managing to break above key areas of resistances but at the key area of resistance at around the 0.03362 dollar mark we got rejected and we have been seeing a massive pullback to the lower side and jumping to the forward chart here on the forward chart uh, after making our low at around the 0.02 dollar mark we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side in a movement that I have been terming as an ABC corrective movement and after seeing that ABC corrective movement whatever I expected next on this other side is the formation of a five wave structure to the lower side and that five wave structure was to give us new lows here on the VeChain chart and I believe that is what we have been seeing here and because th and that is because we have seen a new low today at around the 0.0181 dollar mark and I'll get into that in, in a few and getting back into this idea to structure that I have right here after making the high of that ABC corrective movement we saw a very nice movement to the lower side having these as the wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and then our wave 5 making its, to, its low at around the 0.021 dollar mark and after seeing that a, a 5 wave structure to the lower side we can now name that as a higher edu 12 count 1 to the lower side and having seen the formation of a higher edu 12 count 1 to the lower side whatever I expected next was the formation of a higher edu 12 count 2 to the upper side and that has also played out here on this chart and I can give you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 2 using the Fibonacci connecting them from the high of that first wave to the low of that first wave and that gave me a minimum target area between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 which perfectly lies between the 0.029 dollar mark and the 0.027 dollar mark that was the minimum retracement area in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 2 and you can see we saw that bounce to the upper side retracing into that target area making our peak in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 2 at around the 0.028 dollar mark and after seeing the formation of this higher edu 12 count 2 to the upper side whatever I expected next was the formation of a higher edu 12 count 3 to the lower side and that is what has been playing out over here giving us a new low at around the 0.018 dollar mark and using the trend based Fibonacci we can sketch out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 3 to the lower side by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the high of that first wave to the low of the first wave then dragging the fibs to the high of that second wave and that gives me a minimum target area using the fib ratios 1 is to 1 fib ratios and that is the low of the first wave so using the fib ratios 1 is to 1 fib ratios that gives me a minimum target area back to around the 0.01574 dollar mark that is the minimum that I'm expecting this wave 3 to the lower side to do and you can see that is playing out we have lost a key area of support at around the 0.02 dollar mark another key area of support at around the 0.018 dollar mark we are also trading below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart and we have also seen candlesticks that are indicating a bearish movement is coming here on the V chain chart and you can see over here here on the 4 hour chart we have this uh, engulfing candlestick which is a massive bearish candlestick and is indicating that lower prices are coming our way and my first target area is back to around the 0.015 dollar mark which is my target area in the formation of that higher edu 12 count 3 and because a wave 3 is an impulsive wave I also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that wave 3 to the lower side and I believe we are seeing such a structure here on the 1 hour chart so jumping to the 1 hour chart so that we can see that edu 12 structure here on the on the 1 hour chart we have these as the wave 1 
that is a fractal wave within that wave 3 to the lower side then we saw a wave 2 then a wave 3 then a wave 4 and then we have continued pushing lower in a wave 5 which i'm expecting it to fully maximize the target area in the formation of that wave 3 give us a new low at around the 0.015 dollar mark and once that plays out then we can start sketching out a bit of a bullish movement to the upper side in the formation of a higher edut wave count 4 before we continue pushing lower in the formation of a higher edut wave count 5 to the lower side and to give you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that higher edut wave count for assuming the low will be in at around the 0.015 dollar mark i can use the fibonacci's connecting them from the high of that wave 3 to the low to this target area down here at around the 0.15 dollar mark and there's a possibility once we make the low there's a possibility of vchain bouncing back to around the 0.022 dollar mark or maybe at around the 0.023 dollar mark so let's be patient and see how that plays out here on the vchain chart also taking a look at the indicators here on the forward chart to see what movements will be supported here on the rsi on the rsi we are trading at around the 25 mark Mark, meaning we are we are in the overbought in the oversold region and we don't have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side anymore and there's a we have massive room for us to support uh, to support any movements to the upper side so in case we see a reversal there's a possibility in case we see a reversal here on the v-chain chart that movement on the rsi will be fully supported also taking a look at the macd here on the macd you have printed a bearish cross and that means lower prices are coming our way and from what you can see here on the macd we have an increase in the selling momentum and that means lower prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated